what's going on guys welcome back to the channel once again if you're watching this that simply means that you enjoy my reactions right so if you want to help your boy out you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? if you want to help your boy out no <laughs> you know how some people they start their youtube they start their youtube intros or whatever or, or whatever and the first thing they're doing is asking you for money <laughs> you know what i'm saying it's like asking you for subscribe to this or go and link is in the description go sign up to this da, 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 da. i'm i'm just like every now and then i'll say it but it just gets to a point where i just like it's whatever you know at this point people should already know that there's membership on the channel and you know sometimes i'll you know i'll consciously remember to say it during my intros but for the most part i don't really want to want to say it because i you know what i'm saying um but in any case guys these next two episodes they better be good they <laughs> They better be good because these are going on early access and I don't want you guys to go for, go sign up for early access and then you get two boring episodes, okay? So I usually, if if anything, I'm going to try to top either two or four episodes on early access. Um, so we'll, we'll see how things go today. If these two episodes are fire, I'll continue and do another two, okay? So I know I promise at least two for early access, so... Look out, your boy. Anyways, let's jump into it. I'm excited, man. I'm excited. And the reason why I'm excited, the reason why I'm so excited to watch these next two episodes is because the coach is going to be making adjustments just for Hanamichi and try to get him off his game. Because um, I'm like, okay, I guess he's at that status now where they have to pay attention to him because he's he's a rebound magnet, man crazy he you know what i'm saying i think at one point you guys had said that um he he was modeled after after um dennis rodman which would make sense so we'll see how that goes anyways let's jump into it i will see you guys for the review All right, so that was, what, 52 and 53. Wow and wow. Akagi gets injured? That, that's that's not good. <laughs> that's not good, man. Um, as it, It's not good. That's not good for the team. Shouku is definitely in trouble. Even though they're only, what, nine down now? Yeah, they're only nine points down. Um, Rukawa seems to be stepping up. To kind of get those points up. They're really not showing anybody else. Other than Sakuragi, Rukawa, and Akagi right now. Have we forgotten that there's two other people playing on the court? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, so, Miyagi and, um, and Mitsui. Still haven't really... They haven't really showed anything about them like since the beginning of the match. So... Um, but I'm glad that Hanamichi has decided to step up to fill that void. And as I was saying during the episode, that is a really bad injury. You guys don't understand how bad that is and how often it happens. It happens so often. Sometimes it happens and, you know, you can, you know, you can walk it off. But when it's severe, if you want, you can look up videos. There's videos on YouTube of ankle injuries in the NBA. Uh, rolling your ankle like that off of somebody else's foot. You land on somebody's foot and you roll your ankle because, you know, it, it's not a it's not a um, a leveled area you're falling on. So when you land, your foot just slides off of the other person's foot and it rolls and when it happens it twists your ankle to the point where you know what i'm saying it can cause like that severe swelling that you see it happens and i'm telling you it has happened to me and bruh i was hopping around 
I mean, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was hopping around for a good week. You know what I'm saying? A good week, and the pain was still there. And as I said, even till this day, if I run too hard and stuff like that, like, I can aggravate it um, because, you know, I don't have millions of dollars to fix my ankle, <laughs> you know, so, um, so, and I'm not, a, I'm not, a, you know, every now, I mean, light jogging is nothing, but if you just slightly place your foot too out of place, it starts to hurt me again, and you know what I'm saying, so it's like a sprain that just never goes away, and it's like, for him to be that tough to say, as I said, it's an injury that you can play through. If it matters that much to you, you get what I'm saying? And it's not like the beginning of a season or something like that. You know what I'm saying? And even even if it's the beginning of a, of a season, you know what I'm saying? You still, in my opinion, on a professional level, you should still be careful of what you do when it comes on to that. I mean you know, um, sit out, if the game is important, like if it's a playoffs or the finals or whatever, you can definitely tape that bitch up and get back out there and, you know, play through it. When you're done, you're going to feel that junk. I promise you, you're going to feel it. You, you better dump that foot in some ice or something. Cause that's swelling. It, if you keep on your, you know what I'm saying, if you keep putting weight on it, it's just, the swelling is just going to get worse, and you can also damage, because the thing about it is that, I love the fact that she said to him, we don't even know if there's bone damage, because there could be bone damage, you get what I'm saying, um, twisting your ankle like that, you could possibly actually, you know what I'm saying, dislocate your ankle too, so there's, there's, um, there's, a lot of nuance to it, um, it's a bad injury, it's not something you play around with, especially if you're on the professional level, um, because, you know, I've seen people with, you know, go through ankle injuries, um, you know, we're not going to talk about LeBron, I, I, I don't know, I, I don't know, when it comes to LeBron, I can't put him in conventional wisdom of stuff, like, the man is the man. You know what I'm saying? When it comes on to taking care of yourself and not getting injured, LeBron is LeBron is by far the most durable athlete ever. Like, I mean, if you guys can name somebody else out there that's as durable as LeBron, I'll go check it out. But I don't know, from my my knowing history of sports and watching different sports um, over the years, because I, I watch all kinds of sports, it's cricket, you know, football, um, you know, soccer, if you want to call it that, um, you know, American football, I watch all these, and I don't think there's ever been a more durable athlete, now, when it comes on to, um, if you're, if, if some people, I know some people are going to mention Tom Brady, right, Tom Brady, the reason, the, the, when it comes to Tom Brady, he's, for, for me, greatest quarterback of all time. And the reason why I'm going to give him greatest quarterback of all time and not the greatest football player of all time, and I know a lot of people who are Brady fans, you know what I'm saying, you know, they're going to say he's the greatest footballer, you know, American football player of all time. They'll put him in the goal conversation. And the reason... Um, for, for this and why I wouldn't say, cause a lot of people think, you know, he's better than Jordan cause he's got seven rings now. Right. But no, I'm not going to put him on, on that. He, he can't be. And that's the thing about football. And the reason why I can't consider him that is because he only plays one side of the ball. I think there were a lot of athletes, you know, back in the day, you get what I'm saying are way better than Tom Brady. I'm just gonna say it. they they were guys who played both sides of the football back in the day it doesn't happen now because you have more people playing and 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 it's not necessary for anybody to play two sides of the ball in american football anymore but it's 
um, it's one of those things where it's very, in some ways, subjective also. So, um, and the reason why I wouldn't consider Tom Brady to be the most durable is because, for some reason, Tom Brady always have great offensive lines. Don't get me wrong, he gets sacked, he gets hit, but... You know what I'm saying? For some reason, Tom Brady always have some of the best offensive lines in American football. I mean, he, he, he's one of the least, he was one of the most protective quarterback, protected quarterbacks of all times, hands down. He's had some of the best offensive lines, so he doesn't get hit a lot. Um... You know, as I said, LeBron has to play offense. He has to play defense. And for him to be here in his, what is, 18th year in the league this year and to to have one major injury, one, <laughs> one major in, injury his entire career, and it didn't even last that long. It didn't even last, it didn't even last that long. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it felt like, it was nothing, and it was a groin injury, you know, and he came back like it was, you know what I'm saying, this, he's just incredible, but in any case, um, this game is going to get, it's going gonna, it's, it's gonna to get good, and I can feel that this, this game is going to get good, Sakuragi Hanamichi, he's going to step up, and I think Rukawa, I like the fact that he's staying focused. I like that a lot. I like the fact that he's staying focused. You know, I like that a lot. I like the fact that he's staying focused. But in any case, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm looking forward to the next two episodes. Hopefully, you guys hit that like button. And even if you're watching this on early access, hit the damn like button, man. You guys are on early access. You don't come back to watch the episode, so why not just leave the like now? You don't come back to watch it when it comes out on, you know, for everybody else. So just hit the like button, baby. Let's go. Anyways, thank you guys so much, man. Leave a comment. Subscribe if you're new. I'm out. Peace.